Hi, today I'm going to show you this demonstration video of the portable workshop and I'll try to explain some of its main features. It has wheels so it can be easily moved by only one person and even transport it in your car with a little help to put it inside. Its size is very reduced for those of you that don't have much space at home. Once open it turns into a versatile multi-tool though. Also you can use the inside to save its accessories. As you can see it has three main functions. Saw table, rotor and scroll saw. To show you how it works, I'm gonna build a pair of drawers with chip pine floorboard. Here I'm cutting the parts for the drawers with the sled. Now I use the fence to get the desired height. This is the groove for the base. You can make angle cuts with a miter gauge. Removing the quick access covers you can tilt the disc, 4 to 5 degrees in this case. The jigsaw guide is adjustable in three axes and we can use different blade sizes from 100 to 180 mm getting a maximum cutting height of 70 mm. Here I'm making the draw handle. Let's go with the myelin function. I am changing the mill in order to get rounded corners. We also have a miter channel here to use a miter gauge. This bearing will be so useful to make curved millings. We can also tilt the rotor 45 degrees.
that drawer is finished, so I'm gonna put it in place. Now I'm gonna show you two different ways of making tenons. First with the jigsaw, the fence and the miter gauge. And the second one with the disc and the tenon jig. With the bigger disc I can place in my circular saw, 235 mm, I get a max cutting height of 70 mm. The incremental channel has little adjustment bolts to reduce tilt. You can even block it if you need to. This is my solution to make box joints. You must place half of the pieces in the one side and the other two in the other side. And this is the final result. Back to the router again, this time with the feather boards to make the groove of the base. <laughs> 